this bridge is uh, quite old when working with the fridge electrical always unplug from uh, the fridge from the wall don't just shut off the fridge but unplug the fridge from the wall and uh, start working uh, with the electrical be safe and if you put a lot of food in the freezer compartment there should not be any ice bill up on the back panel of that so if you start to have a lot of ice bill up on the bottom that's an indication that the defrost is not working so I would defrost that by removing the panel and uh, take it all apart and check for the uh, uh, why it's not uh, working. If you have a problem with ice buildup in your freezer compartment and there's no cold air into the fridge, um, you are likely have a problem with the defrost timer. The defrost timer is sitting here, right there, and it. that little gray here that's the timer it's just about uh, this panel and that normal is rotate like a clock it turn on the heater every so many hours of running to defrost the ice you know and uh, turn up the fridge back on again That from the fridge that I removed and um, basically it this is the clock the power going to here and uh, running these uh, uh, like a clock gear here and that gear rotating the timer to this this is what you see to the uh, panel under inside the fridge uh, where the where the uh, adjustment of the temperature is uh, you take this here you can rotate this with the fridge power on, you can rotate this. You can hear this. There, that click. That click is basically a turn on the heating cycle right now. If the fridge is plugged in and you, everything is still intact, uh, this timer is still connected. When you turn that and you hear that click, now the heater wire will warm up. It's not going to be turned red. Uh, it'll probably warm up maybe about 70 degree, 80 degree uh, centigrade, uh, enough that it will melt the ice. Uh, if the ice is so packed full of it, it won't melt. So it's only supposed to remove some small amount of ice. And this time we're going to, you know, 24 hour a day, uh, and it stopped maybe, you know, like for about half an hour or something. So in short, if you want to test this, after you defrost the ice, everything is uh, all clear. Uh, the black wire where the heater wire is, you can turn this thing here on with everything plugged back in. Nothing is to connect until you hear the click. There, that click. And then you wait and you touch that heater wire slightly, you will see it's lukewarm. That indicate, uh, indicating the heater circuit is working fine. Uh, the problem is with the timer. So get a new timer, get a part number that I uh, highlight there, and order a new timer on Amazon, and you're good to go.